Hi guys, Kirk and Dan here with Kirk Giordano Plastic. Today what I'm going to show you guys is another way to waterproof existing windows when they're ancient. This house is about 100 years old. They tore all the stucco off and had to replace all the wood. It was, well, it seemed better days. Anyhow, I've showed folks this before on, on sills that are 100 years old. What I did is I brought my paper up here, I went past the sill, cut it here, and then what you see is underneath here. Now, you could put a bead of silicone caulking up here, or not silicone, polyurethane. There's another way to do it, which, because this house is so beat up, this is the way I said I would do it, so I'm doing it that way. I'm taking some uh, peel and stick, and there's 20 different peel and stick products, guys. I happen to like this particular one. Okay, so I'm going to stick it here, and here's a tip. Now, what I want to do is I want to follow this window sill, and if I follow the window sill, say like, uh, just get a little bit stuck here. It's kind of a drag because it's like an accordion, this stuff. What I'm doing here is I'm going to underneath it, and then, then I'll get the corner in tight with my fingers. Get it real tight here, guys. Then all this excess is going underneath the window sill. And what that does is rather than have just the caulking here, I don't know, the, under here, the whole seal is protected. And that's going to be covered with stucco anyhow. The one area here where it comes past, we just pull it back. And when we come to our corners, you stay there, Dan. We, what we do is do like so. And what I'll do here is I will cut this piece, come here. Then how I counter this is I got a roll of this straight flash right here. And what I will do is Here's how I get these corners here. Generally, I ask homeowner or contractors, can you cut this with a sawzall? That way I can put one piece straight in here, go between it, but we don't always have that luxury. So, now that I've got that piece, and this particular straight flash is made for a stucco system, a Tyvek with two layers of paper, but it'll work here. What I'm doing here now is I'm going with my overlap again. And I'm going to cut this edge out here. Cut this edge out on the bottom and stick it and then cut that off because stucco will cover that little piece here. Now with windows this beat up guys, this is the way I like to do it and because we have an area, uh, let's see, cut another piece, want to prove a point, because we have this area right here that got somewhat of a gap in it, we don't like it. I got two layers of this thick paper over it and then I'm going to put two more from here over there. But just say for example, on this side now, um, showing you a, another way when the wood's somewhat beat up or the house is old as the hills like this guy here, uh, we don't want to take chances. What I'm doing here is I'm, I'm putting this uh, peel and stick inside and before I even did this I took a wire brush and I took a wire brush and I cleaned the groove out because this groove was filled with stucco and dust and dirt and this stuff won't adhere to stucco dirt or dust or any of that crap so we took the wire brush and cleaned that out and okay so now what I'll do is I'll take my knife and close it and just go over this so I can get a real good tight seal. I don't want it. I want that tight, just like so. And here, I want this tight too. And once I got my corner tight, I'll take my knife and do like so. Any excess, just stick it anywhere. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take two layers here and go over it. Um, I actually went premature here just to prove a point, guys. What I'm going to do here is take this two layers. I'm working with this uh, double X. And this is what we do, guys. Right there, I put that on just to prove the point. I didn't have the two layers on. But I will take this and just double it right up. Tack this on there. Pull it. So we always want to overlap 
our existing paper by at least a foot. And since I'm out of staples, I'll just let that there. Now, what I'll do is the exact same system I did there. I'll take my straight flash, go on the side here, and then put it in this groove and squeeze it in there tight. That's another way to do it, guys. A lot of times you'll see me, I'll take paper and I'll put it in this groove and caulk this with the polyurethane caulking. But this is a better way to do it, and you don't always have to do this. We just happen to have a house here that is severely beat up, and I want to make certain that it doesn't come back on us anyhow, way, shape, or form. So our stucco here is going to be bullnosed. It's going to be rounded off like the rest of this house. But anyway, guys, that's, a, that's another way to do windows, because a lot of you folks email me and say, guys, or Kirk, the windows, when I tore all the stucco off, there is no flashing. Of course not, guys. That's new windows. When you rebuild a house, you'll put the new windows on, and yeah, they'll have a flange, but we don't have that luxury here. So this is one way to do it, guys. The paper in the groove with the polyurethane is another way. This is the best way to do it, though. And whatever type of flashing you choose, well, that's your business. They make about 20 different peeling sticks. I'm just kind of fond of the DuPont stuff. Anyway, guys, my name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. We thank you for watching, and as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one.